Uh, all right, guys, I really don't think this is a good idea, but right now I'm changing out the needles to ball, ballpoint needles because I'm embroidering, I'm about to embroider on a sweater. When I say a sweater, guys, I mean <laughs> a sweater. Uh, honestly, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't recommend that you guys do it, but the person insisted. So I'm gonna give it a try and we're gonna see how this comes out. I mean, we'll see. The needles that I'm using for this job to um, needle 80, 12 needles, 80, 12 needles. You know, the needles come with, the machines come with 75, nine. Some people like to, I mean, 75, 11. Some people change it to the smaller needle, 65, nine. And I'm changing it to a larger ballpoint needle, 80, 12. So, <laughs> let's cross our fingers. I hope this works. I hope it doesn't, I hope I don't ruin this sweater, but. This is ballpoint needles, it's supposed to work for sweaters, but I don't think they meant sweaters this thick. I thought they meant like the even sweaters, but we're about to find out. I kind of like doubled and tripled up on stabilizer. One, because my black stabilizer, okay, let me move this over a little bit. My black stabilizer wasn't um, long enough to fit all the way across here. So I had to use, uh, so I had to use, just adjusting this real fast, guys. Several pieces, just so it can fit, right? And this is just gonna help me, using this, this, these many pieces of stabilizer, this is gonna help me. Now I'm gonna carefully position this sweater. This, and I gotta not stretch this thing. This is an official sweater sweater, guys. This is like, yeah, this is, this is sweater, all right? So, yeah, that looks about straight. So the design is gonna fall right here, because I can feel where my where my uh, thing is. So the design's gonna fall right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hoop it. I'm gonna put it in the machine this way. So normally if I'm doing a, a hoodie or something like that, I'll do it this way so I can put it in the machine the body ways. But there's my U right here, it goes in the machine this way. I'm just gonna do it this way. All right, so that's it. That is it, guys. Uh, <laughs> No turning back now. And we're not stretching the sweater at all because we don't want any stretch at all. All right, so this is gonna be very, very interesting. I just hope I don't screw this thing up, but it shouldn't, because I put in ballpoint needles and they say to use ballpoint needles, so we're about to find out. Very, 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 very nervous about this. Did I mention I was nervous about this? But we got the ballpoint needle, we got everything. Worst come to worst. It doesn't work and we know what not to do for next time. All right, so I'm gonna check underneath to make sure this, no, there's no sweater. I have everything set to go and I'm just scared to press start right now because I don't wanna mess this up. I'm not sure if I should put some water soluble on top. Um, I'm gonna say no, it's not that, it's not really thick or anything. I just, I mean, I don't know, but we gotta, it's now or never, man. I'ma just, I'ma just, I guess I'ma just press start and we're gonna see how this, 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 this goes. Whew, nervous on this one. Should I, should I have put Aqua Soft, Aqua, this water dissolvable stabilizer on top? Hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and get to it, guys. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. All right, I'm pressing start. All right, look stable. Look stable. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Woo, I'm talking about scared. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's actually working. Oh my gosh. So now y'all know. The Racoma MT-1501 can embroider on sweaters. 
I'm currently running 800 stitches per minute. I don't dare, don't even want to attempt to go any faster than this because, you know, it's my first time doing this. I don't, I'm not trying to screw this up, but so far it's looking good, right? This design is 64,496 stitches, so I'm going to be here a while, but overall, not bad, Wacoma, not bad. Checking up on our design, and it's actually looking very, very well capturing all the details very very well i am very pleased with how it's looking let me know what you guys think in the comments down below so far i think the mt1501 is handling this like a beast um yeah i i i, I had my reservations about this but i'm feeling really good that my client is really really going to think that I did a great job on this and I hope you guys um, this encourages encourages you guys to you know try different things and you know know that you know just try to push the boundaries of, of what you normally do when I tell you this thing is embroidering beautifully guys this thing is embroidering beautifully getting all the details in there looking real real good um, better than I thought it was going to embroider. I mean, I knew it was going to be good, but, you know, I, I, I thought maybe I might have, might have some issues because of, um, because of what I'm embroidering on. But, again, this is where experience comes in, and this is where not being afraid to test stuff out comes in because, you know, when you are on your machine a lot, you, you kind of like know the boundaries of it. So like, yeah, it's very, very valuable. I encourage all you guys to get on your machine, start doing different stuff, start testing some stuff out, right? And you won't be afraid to take these jobs. You can offer different services to different clients that want weird stuff done on weird materials and weird things like shoes and stuff. We are approaching the end of this design, guys. It is late in the evening, and I'm ready to get out of here, to be honest with you. I started this job a little too late, but I was doing other things in the studio. Um, as people buy things, you have to replace things so that when new people come in, there's stuff to buy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is like a job, a job job. So, uh, and it's also a blessing, but look at this, guys. This is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confident in doing sweaters now. Got to add a little bit more density to the letters though, but overall, I'm going to hit it with a heat gun after this part is done so that the uh, thread kind of pulls in and comes together. But yeah, I should have increased the density on the thread for the text, but overall, I'm happy with it. And like I said, I definitely think my client is going to be very, very happy when she sees this and when she puts it on it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing because this this design is just crazy yeah man listen this thing is amazing had no idea it was gonna come out this good guys oh my gosh look at this thing right here I just cleaned up the back of it three layers of stabilizer three layers of stabilizer the back looks good this right here um, my tension is a little off on that, but it doesn't matter because it came out great. Um, three layers of stabilizer, guys. One, two, three. Actually, four on some parts, but I don't care. That's what it took. Feels good. That's inside a sweater. And this is the... Man, listen. Man, listen. She wanted it. She got it. It is what it is for keeping it stable. Um, not gonna feel good when she wears it, maybe, but I'll tell you one thing, people are gonna like it when she puts it on. You know what I mean? It's gonna look good when she puts that on. The text could have been had a little bit more density in the in the in the um in the uh lettering. Should have added more density. And part of that is I did not use any aqua soft topping on the text. Um the sweater is kinda like coming through some of the letters, but um that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Like, you can still read it. It still looks good. And that's it, guys. So that's it, guys. I'm going to 
put this thing in a bag and I'm dropping it off tomorrow. So it's like late, it's nine o'clock at night. Sometimes you work late nights in the studio, especially when you're doing something that you enjoy doing. And I enjoyed doing this, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed watching the stitch out and I am very, very pleased with the quality and how good it looks. Let me know what you, what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you learned something. Let me know if you wanna do more videos like this. Want me to do more videos like this with crazy embroidering on crazy difficult things to embroider on. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, like, comment, share, and most of all, subscribe to the video. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Talk to you guys on the next video. It's your boy. Peace. Turn up the crank it up. While I listen to the rest of me, rocking with the best baby. Like this, like this.